Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Hitman 3 where today we are all about mastery experience here on Haven Island uh, in order to earn what is basically a vomit ray. And so we are going to get a gun that makes people puke. I don't even know exactly what I intend to use it for. It just seems like the kind of mischief that we should have as an option, don't you think? So there are a lot of ways to earn mastery experience, as you've seen over the course of the series. Um, it's often the case that like picking up a, each uniform for the first time on a mission is worth some XP, killing the targets in each different way that you can figure out to do it. Um, but if we're talking about getting mastery XP efficiently, as much as we can per unit of effort, I think this is probably a pretty good way to start. So every mission has these classics challenges. Uh, you can see here, Silent Assassin and Suit Only are contained within Silent Assassin Suit Only. So this is really only complete these two challenges to get 4,000 XP, which is almost a level. That's quite a lot. And then, of course, each of those challenges is itself worth a bunch of XP, right? So this seems like a very efficient way to get stuff. So let's talk about Silent Assassin Suit Only and Sniper Assassin. To get this, which contains two other challenges that are worth 4,000 each, we have to kill no one but our targets. Uh, we're going to skip over that next one. We'll come back to it. Uh, don't get spotted doing anything illegal. It has to be the case that nobody ever becomes aware that you are doing crime. And you have to never change out of whatever outfit you bring to start the mission. Uh, whatever suit class. There are a lot of outfits that you might not traditionally describe as a suit that, that are, for, for the game purposes, your suit. Um, now, it says no bodies found, but this is a little tricky. What it means is... No bodies that have obviously been murdered or knocked out through violence found. If you kill someone in a way that appears to be an accident, it's okay for their body to be found because that's not evidence of a crime. So, like, if we were to kill one of the targets through uh, poisoning or with one of those, like, electric water traps that we set up, that's fine. That can happen right in front of people. Nobody's the wiser. You still get the challenge. The other one that we have to get to unlock to get full credit for the classics is Sniper Assassin, which obviously, uh, as I've mentioned, is a thing I'm very into. Uh, kill all the targets with the sniper rifle. Don't kill anyone who's not the targets. Do not yourself get spotted, but it's okay for the bodies to get found. You can't be seen doing a crime, but if you shoot them right in front of people, it's kind of whatever. So I think this is maybe where we're going to start. We're going to just like feel out how possible this is. So let's go to setup mode here. Uh, I think, unfortunately, Napoleon is going to have to get bounced for a gun. I mean, we may as well use our extremely cool new gun, right? I'm trying to think. Do we need the lockpicks? At this point, we know the layout of the map a little bit better. I don't think we do. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to put Napoleon in here, <laughs> mostly for luck. Well, I mean, like, what are the odds that we're going to need him, though, right? We're planning to stay far away from everybody. Nobody will even be able to hear his beautiful, sweet song. But maybe what we should bring is... Oh, we have access to smuggling now, too, because we've, uh, we've leveled the thing up a little bit. Storage room at the restaurant or the laundry room? I don't actually know where this is. We're going to smuggle a thing in here just so that we can see where it is. Uh, and let's have that be... Do we need this? Like, we know that there is a place where it would be useful for us to be able to bypass a keycard lock, but is it going to be useful for the purposes of actually killing these targets? Because none of them go down there naturally, right? Yeah, that's not really... What else would I have? Yeah, it's fine. We're, we probably won't need it anyway. Mostly what, what we're doing here is figuring out where this is. Um, and then, I mean, do we want to change it up? The Devil Zone has done some good work for us. Yeah, why break up a good thing? I think let's stick with this. This is a suit. You can't argue it's not a suit. It says suit right there. Okay. So all the targets have to have to go down to sniper fire, and we have to never get noticed doing anything illegal. It's okay for the bodies to be found. It's not okay for us to be found making them. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. Okay, so we brought our rifle. Uh, obviously, we're not allowed to have the rifle out in public, so we got to be a little careful about that. Uh, and we're just gonna we're gonna feel this out a little bit. It's not necessarily gonna work the first time. But we're gonna try to find safe spots to shoot each of them. So we know approximately. 
Oh, dude, Mila's right here. That's right, she comes over to you at the start. Uh... I mean... I'm trespassing, but... Nobody's looking over here anyway. Ah, uh, that guy is too close. Shoot. I was just trying to find a, a spot where I'm not being looked at by anyone, but where we have a little bit of line of sight to her. I mean, obviously, you want to do this from far away. But also, there's people everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try getting the gun out here. Let's see if this is okay. 47, put the gun together faster. Damn it. I tried to quickly lead her, and it uh, led to me shooting a thing that was not... Oh, wait. I should probably have my briefcase with me, though, so that we can put the gun back in it. Here, come with me. All right, we're going to get this. We're going to figure this out. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time looking through the, um, through the challenges menu. We could have tried to plan out a route a little bit here. My concern with that is just that um, the challenges menu can spoil you a little bit. It can it can tell you some stuff that you maybe would rather figure out on your own. Good work, forty-seven. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Oh well, we got shot at, so that's so that's not going to work. They figured that out fast. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to be further away than that. That said, I did kill her with a headshot, which is a challenge. I, I don't... We hadn't killed a target with, with a gunshot to the head yet on this mission, I don't think. So that was worth some XP, at least. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a sneakier place. I mean, up on top of something is a classic, right? You find, find someplace high to be. Uh, I don't need my key. We're fine. We don't need all that. Is it possible to get up on top of any of these roofs? I mean, obviously there's a downside to that in that you can be seen. Do you think that's scalable? Yeah, hey bro. We're gonna go we're gonna go see if we can if we can access that. Cause that's a tall thing. I like a tall thing. 47, just just step over it. It's a bench. It's not that big of a deal. It does look like the base of that is is on the map, huh? Need anything or feel unsafe, just uh, let me know. Thank yeah, very professional, dude. I think it's I think it's on the other side of this little this little copse of trees, or I don't know what this thing is that's blocking our path in here, but but that looks like a path, doesn't it? Okay, it's not, but it looks like one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do, I do believe, I do believe we've got a winner. Now remember, we cannot be caught doing a crime. Hey, you. Yeah, hey, what? You're going. I'm just walking you're in the bushes. Here. No, I would never, I would never think of such a thing. I mean, obviously we're going through there. So it looks like there's not any gaps in the fence, but huh? it's not like... It's not like barbed wire at the top. No, I'm not going to be able to climb up that. Ah, uh, whatever. Hmm. This is a problem. These gentlemen are doing a real good job. Let's look at this on the map here. Maybe we could get in the other side a little easier. Let's let's go around and see. This is all public area, right? We're going to walk right past the compound, but we're not going to try to go inside. I don't know. I don't know that we'll be able to get everybody from here, but Sorry, if if the fitness dude is doing his thing... Oh, I'm not allowed to be here. Okay. Stay low. Uh, I bet this is right, then. Yeah, this will be less guarded because they don't think it's a public area. I don't think it's an area where there would be people. Oh. oh. I missed the frog. I spooked him. We were, for a moment there, adjacent to a frog. Alright, free coconuts. So I'm assuming that's locked. It is. But fortunately, we thought ahead. Oh, I like this very much. So now we just gotta figure out how to get up there and uh, also not get cameraed. There would be considerable value in having a silenced pistol at this point. It's probably a thing we should think about. 
Is this... What's in here? Oh. I thought the two dots we were seeing were people on top of the thing, but I think it's one guy on top of the thing and one guy down here in this security office. We're allowed to knock people out and stash bodies and stuff. We just can't get caught doing things. But I'm gonna knock this guy out. Uh, maybe not. Did he... Did he see me enough to come over here? Okay. Everything's good. <laughs> nope. Everything's fine. We're all good here. Okay. So I think we want to wait for him to go back inside and then take him. And I think the other... The other white dot is up on top, right? We saw that guy asleep in that chair up there. I do wish th that the things in this game were a little clearer about their elevation. We've had that problem a couple of times on this map already, where it's just it's really hard to tell how, uh, how high up a thing is. But anyway, like I think I was saying earlier... Oh, that guy is right there. What? Okay, hold on a second. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of recon here. Okay, so there's a camera destruction thing here, which is wonderful. That's very helpful. And then additionally, there's two guys up there, but there is a ladder. Okay, um, I do have one challenge question. Is there a challenge? Like, do we need to, do we need to stay in the suit for Sniper Assassin? I don't think we do. There used to be... If I'm not mistaken, there used to be a sniper assassin suit only. But okay, yeah, if So we'll we'll steal an outfit. We'll steal an outfit. There's no reason to worry about doing suit only because we're gonna have to do it for this anyway, so. Okay, so we will become one of these guys. We'll just walk up there and get the job done? I mean it can't be that simple, can it? Maybe. Alright, what's the easiest way to get one of these outfits? These guys are kind of all over the place, honestly. It's probably not that tricky, and I know we, we definitely had done it in the past. Uh, maybe when we were going into the fenced-in area around the radio tower, the back way, there was definitely just one guard standing over there alone. We might be able to snatch that dude. So let's see, if it... Can we just walk through here? Is that allowed? Because that would be a really easy way to get that done. And it wouldn't involve me walking across that, um, that little sandbar in the open where I'm not allowed to be. Because I'm real nervous about getting caught at that. That seems like a thing I get caught at. Okay, well that's, that's whatever. We can get seen by, we can get seen by a camera while we're in a, uh, a place that we're allowed to be. Uh, I think if you get seen by a camera, you do have to destroy the security footage to get Silent Assassin. Or uh, to, to match the don't get spotted criterion. But we're going to, so it's not a big deal. We were already going to do that. So yeah, just walk right through and approach the security outpost, right? Oh, I'm not allowed in here, though. Ah, uh, that door got closed. Like, stuff just closes behind you without you interacting with it all the time. I'm not sure if having been found trespassing counts as getting spotted, so we're just gonna we're just gonna wind that back just in case. Also, we discovered that you can't walk through that area <laughs> that we just walked through either. Listen, it's all good intel. It's all it's all information. All right, how are we going to? This is okay, but it feels like it would everything would be a lot easier if we got one of these outfits earlier. If we were already dressed as a guard by the time we were doing that part of it. Uh, we did draw a guard out into the bushes pretty easily that one time. Maybe something like that is the smart move. It just, it feels like there's a lot of unguarded sightlines out here. I'm really, I know that it has worked for us in the past, but it makes me really nervous. Okay, so just right through there, that'd take us to exactly where we're going. We're not allowed to go there, but that would do it. We could do it from over here, too, if I just vault this. Oh. Nope, I'm not allowed to vault this. 
I can do it here. This is probably the right move. Wait until there's nobody watching and then... Yeah. Now we just stay low. So there's two guards right here. They're not super observant. And this is the one guy by himself that I was talking about. There's someone in there, according to the map, but I can't... I can't tell. I don't actually see them, so I don't know what their, what their sight line looks like right now. And unfortunately... Unlike Metal Gear, we do not we do not get an indication of their sight cone on the map. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do. We do one of these. Yeah, command. There's some kind of commotion down here. I'm having a look around. I would prefer to use the briefcase as a weapon, but we don't have another thing to throw to make noise. Hey, what's going on? Ah. All right, get him low. Okay, and this is just my just my security briefcase, you know? Oh wait, staff area key. That's also good. Where is my did I get my briefcase? Yes, I have it. Okay. Nope, wait, is this Yeah, this is my briefcase. I brought a gold briefcase, of course I did. Alright. So that's part of the problem solved. Turns out we do not, in fact, need that uh need that lockpick. So, does the security camera look all the way over here? It does not. Does turning off this fuse box interfere with that camera? No. For some reason, no, it does not. Am I, am I properly hidden? Here we go. The little, the little white circle around you indicates that you are hidden and also indicates what the area um, someone would have to enter in order to see through your hiddenness is. So we'll pull this guy out, we'll drop him. Hopefully the camera will not catch the very edge of me doing that. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hope this works. Well, you know, self-awareness. Alright, we're gonna move him into this bush. Hopefully enough into this bush that he's actually hidden by it. I'm always a little nervous with stuff like this, you know. Just trying to grab all of his limbs and drag them as far into the corner as possible. There we go, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty solid hide. No, I want to grab the gun. I don't want to leave guns hanging around. Okay. So it looks like none of the guards around here see through. Oh, that guy does. That guy sees through my outfit. What is that? Dusky lady? Manly. Uh, thank you. I do, I do feel like a manly lady. Is that what he just called me? How did he know? Right, well, obviously, we're going to deal with this. What is that over there? It's a remote explosive. Okay, given that we know that you can attach a remote explosive to the jet ski, it's good to know where one of those is. Oh, apparently you can call Ludmilla even if you haven't gotten the note that indicates that she wants to talk to you. So we're just going to wait for him to walk in here and then drop him in that locker, right? I'm going to remove as many people from this area as possible. We're probably going to have to take out the guys up top, too, just because one of them can see through my outfit, and that could be really inconvenient when we come to climb down. But I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that safely. We could try turning off the, uh, we could try pulling the fuse again and see if that draws them down. I wouldn't imagine. I mean, it shouldn't. Because how would they even be aware that it's happening? But maybe. Let me see here. So there's one guy sleeping, one guy walking around. I kind of wonder if we, with the door open and him over at this side of the, um, the roof, I wonder if making a noise down here will be enough to draw him inside. Okay, so yeah, let's... He didn't respond to that, did he? Nope. It's possible... It's possible that we could just hit him? You know what? I'm 
I get it. I understand his frustration. I'm going to let him walk a little bit away from the edge here. Uh, but we are we are just going to trank him because that's going to be actually silent. I'd really prefer to do it when he's not that close to the railing because I'm so nervous about the game's physics freaking out with him falling unconscious and um, him falling over the railing and dying. Here we go. Perfectly silent. I do not like the part where he fell against the other dude. Can I, can I grab him? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pull him downstairs and take him inside. I speak more quietly to avoid the characters inside the video game hearing me and waking up, because that's how my brain works, for a certain definition of work. Okay, I feel like we have now got a situation here where we can where we can do our jobs. Even if this guy wakes up, he won't see through me. I am loath to uh, to knock him out any more thoroughly because we do not have anywhere to store him. There is poisonable water. I'm assuming it's the the awake guy's water, so that gives us another way of dealing with that guy in the future potentially. Uh, oh, free crowbar, excellent. Hmm, can't carry briefcase up thing. I'm going to get my gun out. We're going to put the gun on our back. We can climb like this. You're not allowed to put your briefcase on your back, unfortunately. So we'll just have to... Yeah. So like I was saying earlier, I suspect we're going to be able to get Ludmilla pretty easily from up here. And probably also Fitness Man if, he's, if he runs around the island the way we saw on the, uh, on the escalation. But I don't know about the other guy. So, target positions currently... Okay, Steven is doing the thing. Ludmilla will just walk around. Tyson Williams we may or may not be able to get from here. Now, keep in mind, we do have to deal with... Um, like, the projectiles are actually modeled. We do have to deal with bullet drop and, and time. You know, the gun's not hit scan. So, this may not actually be a totally trivial shot. And, in fact, I think we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and... No, not load game. I clicked I clicked where the save is because I want to save. We're going to go ahead and make a save here. See if we can pull this off. So. This is the right island, right? Am I, am I looking at the right... Yeah. Why is he just over there? Why is he not running around? He's just hanging out on the wrong damn side of the little island. We have movement, but that's just going to be that woman, right? Oh, no, that's him. That's him. We got him. So, that's Count Stephen it. Bradley taken care of. Well done. All right. Uh, Two targets remaining. I guess this guy has a big... Oh, hey, that's a familiar-looking butler. I guess this guy has a lot of big windows in his place. Is he on this side of the house right now? He is not. Hopefully he walks around. And Ludmilla is indoors, which is going to be tricky. Actually, I didn't account for all the trees. This actually might not be trivial. I was thinking she'd totally be visible on those walkways, and I guess she will be at some points. But it's um, certainly not ideal. All, right, all those guys are freaking out, which is no big surprise. I'm hoping that they will not have successfully put together where I am. We haven't left them a lot of audience, even, or a lot of um, evidence, even if they do run over here. They'd have to actually climb up here to... We did We did just get a little bit of a perception noise just now, though, so I'm a little worried about that. Are they coming over here? They might be coming over here. They might have figured out what happened. Uh-oh. Well, maybe... Yeah, that sound. That sound could stop happening. We don't see any of them running along the walkway over here. Hard to know. It's hard to know if they know. What I do know is neither of the other targets are particularly interested in being visible. I'm hearing noises and I'm getting all paranoid, but it doesn't look like... No, it doesn't look like anybody's entering the, the compound. I don't think they know. I think I'm just being... I'm spooking myself. 
So, wait, where is she right now? Is she in a place where I could theoretically... She's in, like, the back of this building? Is that right? Maybe she'll walk out onto the balcony or something? Oh, wait. Oh, she's on the balcony. Ow! Where are they? Where am I even being shot at from? The answer is yes, they've figured it out. I guess they're below us? I can't tell exactly where, though. Okay, so what we've learned is that that radio tower thing is maybe not actually a viable answer. It's certainly not, vi it's certainly not viable to stay up there. If we were to take the targets here, we'd have to, we'd have to vac evacuate pretty quickly. I'm kind of curious, though. Like, is it possible to get them all um, in quick succession and then run? Oh. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent Hold on. work, 47. I don't know if he has any guards on him. Two targets they're not, remaining. They're not reacting immediately to that. So, okay, I think it may well be the case that the targets, the other two targets, ended up where they were because of the fact that we killed that one guy in front of his guards. Oh, that's her. Damn it. All right, well, she's going to walk out on this balcony, right? And what's-his-face is also going to be visible, hopefully. Let's, let's wait for them both to be visible simultaneously. I don't think anybody... It doesn't look like anybody's aware that we shot the other dude. Oh, never mind. They're figuring it out. Okay. We might, again, want to wait a little bit. Yeah, and those noises are the noises of them. All right, we're going we're gonna to reload. Those noises are them figuring out the location without actually seeing me, I guess. I'm, maybe I'm being stubborn, but I want to do this right. I want to I want to get all three of them from here and then run. So we'll just let him do what he's doing. I want to wait for Ludmilla to get to a visible location. We could try to take her as she's walking over here. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's try it. Let's see if let's see how the timing works. Let's see where everybody else is when she becomes visible here. And of course, that also means I have to hit this shot, which we'll see. Okay. Professionalism, low. Shit, he's not in the window anymore. Oh, he walked too far inside. Well, also, did I fail to get those kills? Neither one of the targets is marked as dead. Okay, well. <laughs> Usually, the sniper class weapons, uh, they, they get the job done no matter where you hit. But apparently I, I did not do the job. Alright, so as things stand right now, we have to take Tyson a little bit... Tyson? Steve? Which one are you? Tyson. We have to take Tyson a little bit early, because it looks like he walks away from the window. Let's just keep an eye on him for a second here. If he starts walking away, we'll shoot him. Okay. Not a lot of time to react there. And I tried, I tried doing that hold shift to slow down time thing, and I don't know if it just didn't work, or if it slowed down time not very much. But it does look like that is maybe not actually going to be viable. We might have to sit here and wait for a cycle. I apologize. I apologize in advance for that maybe not being the most fascinating uh, thing. But we need, we need, basically, we need a moment where all three of them are visible. We need to take the shots real fast, and then we need to, um, and then we need to bounce. And we don't necessarily even need to be all that careful once we have left. We just can't stay in the area where the shots were fired from. I gotta say, though, I'm very impressed with their security forces for being able to figure out where I was shooting from immediately after the shot occurred. Some high-speed forensic analysis there. So he's leaving, unfortunately, as she's going to go out to this balcony over here. It looks like he may be leaving the visible area. We don't have any idea what Tyson's routine is like. So where, where does she stand when she, when she ends up over here? Is it, a, is it in a place where I can actually shoot her? We're just gathering intel here.
And to be perfectly honest with you, now that we know approximately what needs to be done up here, and especially if we're especially if we're planning to use the tranquilizer gun for this, we could totally do this suit only. It wouldn't even really be a problem. Okay, so she stands out here and takes a phone call for a good long while, if last time is any indication. We just gotta kinda keep an eye on our on our targets. I wish we could zoom out the minimap so I wouldn't have to keep looking at this. So where does Tyson go? Or Steven, rather. Where does Steven go during this time? He goes inside that building. I mean, they're remarkably close together. I wonder who she's talking to. My guess is this is probably a conversation that's actually happening. Oh, you know what? This might be the conversation with that woman. Um, the woman who had the USB key down in the basement. I bet that. I bet that's what it is. So he goes inside here. That's the building where our um, where our agency smuggled item is. We might have to um, we might have to give them a little push to get them all targetable. Like sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to create a uh, a situation where they all want to like go outside and look at something. And this might be one of those maps. But honestly. If we just had a moment where Steven was doing his run around the island thing and Ludmilla was all the way out there doing her talking to guests thing and Tyson was in the window, we could just one, two, three, and then, and then run, flee very, very fast. Because, I mean, it's going to take the, it's going to take the guards in any of these positions a while to reach where we are, right? It's actually... Fairly remote. Boy, Steven sure stays inside that building once he goes in there, though, huh? It's... it's this one? I have no idea if those are his legs or not. I do not remember what pants he was wearing. <laughs> so this might turn out to be... a little bit harder than I was hoping. What I really need is for him to just go back outside. Okay, so sometimes Tyson's visible in this room. Okay, we're learning. I, it, it may be the case that we just have to do something here. We have to figure out a route that will have them all. Maybe we could get them all to go jet skiing together. Let me just pop them off the jet skis. Yeah, unfortunately, it's borderline impossible to keep track of them uh, from here, especially since looking at the map pauses the pauses the game. Okay, Steven is leaving that building. We cannot see anything. Somebody thoughtlessly planted trees all over this island. Can you imagine? Okay, he's walking out this way. In fact, that is him right there. So does he go... He's not really walking back in the direction of his jogging route, is he? What is he doing? It wouldn't be the case that one of these places is his, like, his hut, like, where he lives, right? These are for guests, I think. If we keep watching the map, I mean, it sure does look like he's headed for the walkways. You know, the sniper rifle does move bodies pretty significantly. If we could catch him on the edge of one of the walkways and shoot him such that his body flies into the ocean, we might be able to just have him disappear and not not give up our position. I mean, I know he's got guards standing right next to him, but you, know, you just wait, you, you catch a moment where they're looking away. So the mill is staying inside the main main office building. And Bradley never actually made it all the way to the walkways. He stopped at something. That that little hut right there, whatever that is, I think. And 
Tyson is just staggering around his his palace over there looking miserable, which I get. All right, we're going to we're going to observe their paths from here for a little bit longer. And then we may need to abandon this strategy if they don't line up or or spend a little bit more time outside. We may need to abandon this strategy and figure out something that we can do inside of the mission to make them go to a particular place. Okay, Steven's headed back toward his private island. That's very good news for us, because if he's running around his private island, all we really need is for Ludmilla to be in a public spot, a visible spot, and then we can we can make the thing happen, because Tyson's walking by his windows all, all the time, over and over and over again. All right, so he's visible now. Uh, she is... It looks like she's maybe heading for the walkways. She's moving south. So we just need... We need that moment. We need to seize on it. And I need to not miss any of my shots. Which is, you know... It's not exactly guaranteed. Yep, she's moving toward the walkways. Okay, I'm gonna create a new save here. We're just gonna replace that old save. Because this is looking like we're, we're approaching some kind of moment. So she's being watched directly. Oops, that's the wrong button. Where are they all right now? Tyson's not at the front of his thing, and Steven is just about to become unshootable. No, he has already become unshootable. Uh, we're gonna lose her. I mean, maybe she'll walk around to the other, the other parts of the walkways here. If she turns left at the end of the walkway, then we're cool. If she turns right, we might be doomed. She turned right. Well, shit. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna have to maybe engineer the situation. I mean, we'll have a moment. There's a walkway visible there. What's everybody else look like right now? Steven's visible again. Tyson's really, really not, though. Steven's just about to start his run. Okay, here we go. Here's here is our part of the the part of the walkway we can see. That's a fucking tree. Okay, a macaw really scared the shit out of me. If I'm being honest. I can't... There's nothing around there for the bullets to hit. So I can't tell if I'm shooting too early. What we need to do is shoot the walkway near where she's walking so she stops. <laughs> and I can get a really easy one off. <laughs> but I think this will work. I think that's doable. Why shoot at a moving target? Why develop the skill necessary to shoot at a moving target when you can just shoot at a stationary target? Right? Why work hard when you could work smart? So the core problem here now, the biggest problem we have left, and it's this is it's nice that this is the biggest problem, is that Tyson is in the wrong on the wrong side of his house. So I don't think we want to grab her here. I think we wait till she goes to that other part of the walkway because we gotta we gotta get Tyson. And honestly, we don't it's not like we have to hit them all at the same time or anything. It's just gotta be close. It's just gotta be kinda close even. Not even like all that close. Okay, so here's the part of the walkway we can see. So we're looking at approximately here, near that little sidewalk. So what we're going to do is keep checking the uh, the map as she gets closer to that and hope, hoping, hoping, hoping that Tyson is going to do anything useful for us at all. She's getting, like, real close there, buddy. I mean, okay, here's some good news. And it's not, like, it's not great news, but it's, it's better than nothing. Um, it'll take a long time for her guards to get over here. So like once we've once we've hit this, we have a little bit of time. 
All right, where's Tyson right now? Oh, is he, what is he doing? Is he, like, in the bathroom? There it is. Two targets remaining. Jesus. Well, that was a Good nightmare. work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been perm. Okay, Steven's in a position we can't see, and Tyson's in a position we can't see. And we have very limited time here. Yep, you can hear the you can hear the sound of them getting ready to kill me. Them getting ready to find and kill me. Okay, my personal feeling is that if th th this did not work, and if it is the case that this did not work, these guys don't become visible to us, um, we'll give up on this and we'll try to find a way on the map to induce them into better positioning. God, I wish we could we could watch their positions. Oh, okay, Tyson's on the move. He may have he may have finally finished wiping. They're both they're both moving. So if they could just do me do me the kindness of moving into visible positions, we can maybe make something happen here. Nope, that's a maid. Oh, oh. That is a maid. But he was visible for a second there. He is not becoming visible again. I just see oh he just walks he walks past things so quickly. He's not he's not doing the kind thing and stopping in front of the windows. He's on this side of the house, though, right? Like, he's... He, yeah, he's, like, right there. I'm gonna make a noise and see if I can draw him out. And Steven is all the way on the wrong side of the thing. It's very annoying. Is he gonna walk around there, maybe? It's really hard to keep an eye on both of these things at the same time when we can't see either of them on our minimap. Okay, Steven's definitely visible to us now, and we're gonna have to just take him. So, that's Steven Bradley taken care of. Well done. Yeah, this gun just doesn't it doesn't do Oh. Just one more target to go. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Alright, we That's got a challenge we for need that. To do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, see, we're marked as in combat, though, despite the fact that nobody saw us do a thing, so this might not count. Well, let's let's run out and see. Let's just hit an exit. And I know it's not a new exit, but um, <laughs> I'm concerned. Yeah, maybe we are counted as having been seen, despite the fact that it definitely should not be the case that any... Like, nobody saw us. They knew where we were. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll see. The fact that that said combat above the map, though, makes me makes me feel like we probably did not get it. We probably are, are counted as having been seen. Yeah, we didn't get it. Uh, we got that, though. Targets ahoy. It looks like that is, yeah, that's a challenge for shooting from that location. Okay, well. I mean, it's, it's XP, I guess. It's not very good, though. It's not very good, though, is it? Yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need to actually we're gonna need to create a situation where they're a little bit more a little bit more secretly shootable. Um, to be honest with you, I think let's just go back in with this stuff. Let's pursue them around a little bit and see if we can't figure something out. Welcome. To Maybe. You know what, maybe if we did the thing where we draw them all to the facility. Well, no, because that facility is underneath, it's underneath Tyson's house, right? So he'll never go outside. I was thinking maybe it's like, do the thing where they all have to come to the facility and then get outside and wait for them to walk toward it. 
but Tyson would never go outside at any point during that. Which doesn't necessarily mean that we couldn't do the thing. It's not like you have to shoot somebody from far away for it to count as a sniper shot. You can, you can point blank somebody with the rifle in a stairwell or something. It's certainly not ideal, though. It doesn't fit the, the feeling you want. Alright, so the snorkel, the snorkel exit's over here somewhere, right? Yeah. I want to do that. I want to figure out a way to do that. I don't know where the snorkel instructor is, but I want to become the snorkel instructor. So from out here, these people are upset. Yeah, he's not going out again, though. The scuba instructor grabbed his keys and won't give them back to him. I overheard the ah. Here. Okay, that's interesting. Those things are dangerous enough some now we need to figure out where that scuba instructor is even more. Yo, if we could get Stephen Bradley out on his, um, out on his water scooter, as they call it, which is not a term I've ever heard for that, um, then we might be, we might be able to snipe him out on the water today, where it would be less obvious what has happened. We might even be able to shoot the thing and have it explode. I think for figuring out what what we might do to get him into a more vulnerable position, probably the smart thing to do would be to just follow him around. If we could figure out where he goes when he comes off of the little island and spends a bunch of time over here, that seems like that seems like it's going to be intel rich. Well, he's over here right now, isn't he? Yeah, let's go uh let's go find out. They have cameras everywhere out here. All right, we're just going to inconspicuously follow him because, of course, everything we do here is very inconspicuous. Ah, the Water Activity Center. Hey there, big guy. It's true, I am a big guy. With the horns, I'm approximately 9'6". The horns and the heels, obviously. So he's going to call the, the scuba instructor over here and give him a piece of his mind, right? This is opportunity. This, this'll, <laughs> this, I don't know if it creates sniper opportunity exactly, but it's some kind of opportunity. I'm not giving you the keys, Steven. What? What? A guy can't just come over and talk to his beach buddy without getting accused of holding all kinds uh -huh. of secret motivations? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just assumed. You know, Mr. Williams told me not to hand you the keys to the water scooter after the incident this morning. Oh, no, no. It's cool, CJ. It's cool. You don't have to hand them to me. Just, you know, let a bro know where they are so he might... Find them on his own? Oh, Steven, come on, man. Mr. Williams is going to fire me if I do that. You know, technically, I'm your boss, too. I wouldn't fire you. Talk to Mr. Williams if you want them. I can't, I can't, I can't help you. Damn it! I wonder if we can make that happen. I wonder, I wonder if we could get them to talk to each other. I mean, they would probably just do it on the phone, but I'm saying if we could get them to arrange a physical meeting somewhere... Perhaps outside of the Williams estate. I mean, what do you think? Does he have them on him? Are they in his wetsuit pocket? Is that a thing? Do wetsuits have Just pockets? Turn on valve. Check. Air coming out. Good. Check, 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 check. All okay. Good. We could mess with some stuff here. I don't know exactly what my plan would be. How does loosening the valve help? What does that, what does that accomplish? I think he has the keys. 
I think that's how this is gonna work out. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to knock him out and take the keys. He never goes anywhere with the like, doors that close. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tricky to knock him out. Like we couldn't even just pull him in here and drop him, cause there's people everywhere. Uh huh. Although. Right, I'm sorry about this, man. Listen, it's fine. You'll be fine. There's no such thing as a lasting injury in Hitman. You know, there's, really, there's only two levels of injured. Alive and dead. And you're not dead, so... Really, all I've done is make you invincible. So with her down, it's not impossible that we could draw him in there... And if she's not standing right there at that table, and we have another moment of clarity like we had with her, where everybody else is patrolled away, we could take him down, we could pretend to be him, we could get the keys, we could give them to Steven, we could install that remote explosive in the uh, the water scooter, and that's not the plan that we were pursuing, but we'll definitely get challenge points for that. That is definitely a challenge. I just need... Uh, what is... What is this? Ah, I could create an oil leak over here. I could I could cause some real problems, I suppose. Will he will he react to that? What was that sound? <gasps> he will react to that. Oh, typical. Yeah, people just dropping briefcases all over the place. Oh god. Oh god. That guy's guys gonna be able to see us in just a second okay nope everything's cool and clean and normal very normal here hi it's me the snorkel instructor I look like exactly the same guy obviously and indeed he did have the keys well now all right this is not what we were trying to do but this will actually we're getting a lot of challenges off of this I think we've done some good work here all right, maybe we're pursuing a different a different strategy for the moment. The classics are still a good idea. It's still a good way to get your challenge points, but I've I've now gotten distracted. We're we're sort of off of the path. Uh, wait, I wanna I wanna climb over here. Yeah, we're gonna go get that remote explosive, and then we're gonna do some good good work, some good fun good work. So wait, there's someone in here now. That wasn't the case before, right? Who is that? Okay, it's just a member of the service staff. Ah. Better, you better go and investigate it. Better go and investigate it. Hey. Oh. Well, we got spotted, but whatever. It's fine. Find out what that was. Okay, understood. That's not good. We don't want people finding out what that was. I'm taking a few minutes of time for myself in here. Make sure I'm not disturbed. Of course you can do it. Sure. What's that? Things have spiraled. A small amount. So that was the target saying I'm taking a few minutes time for myself in here. We should, we should make ourselves a part of that. Oh, like a few minutes time for herself in a small area in here. Interesting. She's already left, but yeah, that's like, that's exploitable, right? I guess I could just, I could just sit down and that doesn't, that doesn't seem very professional. So she comes out here and she has this phone call, right? It's me. I'm calling to make sure the account. No, he doesn't suspect anything. It's taken me months to prepare this, and I've been very careful. He's probably looking through my computer right now. I've thrown him a lot of small chunks of meat, just like you taught me. Who? Stephen? He's still useful, but, well, I think more so as a patsy than as an accomplice. If all goes well, I'll leave him here to take the fall after the system's been wiped. As long as the accounts are in place, they'll never hmm. be traced. Is there a place to hide a body in here? Not really. I'll call you from Paris. Bye. 
I mean, we, would, we wouldn't be able to steal her clothes anyway. Generally, you can't steal women's clothes. Even though those look like they're probably pretty loose. I, that, that would probably fit. Okay. She's going to get a massage. Oh, man. If we... If we figured out how to pose as a masseur, we could we could make a thing happen here. We'd have to find some clothes that would My fit us though. Is killing me right now. Uh all right. Well. I'm getting distracted. Aha. That guy. No, not that guy. That guy doesn't look like a masseur though. He looks like a janitor. I don't know. He might work. It's hard to tell. The outfits look real similar. They're not the same, though. You know, his, his is a slightly different color. I don't know, man. Maybe that doesn't mean anything. I'm curious. Does he ever walk into a more secluded area? No, he's just going to start mopping again. What's going on in oh, here? Just there. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's another woman. Hmm. Okay, well, I bet there's a way to exploit this. I'm getting distracted. Does he turn his back and give her a moment of privacy? Well, he probably shouldn't. Uh, well, that's no good. Hey, you. You did this. You better tell me right now. Wasn't me. Couldn't be me. Well... Okay, situation. A small situation. It's contained. It's contained. Everything's fine. What the fuck? is your problem? Sorry, lady. This is extremely not your fault. That's as not your fault as anything has ever been. <clears throat> contained. <laughs> Don't really have a great plan from here. Oh, that's a person. That's a person. Are they coming inside? Nope, they're working the front desk. That's good. You should keep doing that. Um, yeah, I got a question. First of all, that seems useful. Secondly, can I just drag an unconscious body into the jacuzzi and leave it there? Will that count as a drowning kill? <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to be able to get her up onto the, the the thing, though, I bet. That, um, that lady's probably got to... She's going to have to take a little break here. Well, this will give us an opportunity to verify, yes, I am, actu I am definitely not allowed to take her outfit. What about your outfit? What is, what is this called? Oh, okay. His outfit is called Masseur. So that would do it. We're going to put that on for challenge progress and then go back to Resort Guard. <laughs> I got your back is the name of that challenge. Uh, well, how do we how we, how do we kill her in such a way that it's going to give us any kind of progress then? I don't suppose I could just drag her ass up onto the... <laughs> just put her on the massage table, right? That's not going to work. Let's see if we can put her in the water. I don't think we're going to be able to put her in the water. Oh, you know what? I might be able to dump her over the balcony, though. They might let you do that, and that might count as a drown. Yeah, I definitely can't do this. Can I Can I dump eliminate? No. We do, we do not have the ability to dump this body in this water. Which is a shame, because, like, that should work. What if I drag her outside and just drag her into the water the old-fashioned way? We could take her this way, right? I knocked out the only person who was uh, who was on this side of the building. Well, the only person. The only large group of people. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna drown her in two inches of water over here. Two targets remaining. <laughs> Good work, 47. Ludmila Vitrova has huh. been permanently retired. Accident kill. <laughs> it also was counted as a melee kill, which I guess isn't like... You know, it's not wrong. Alright, so I'm allowed to just walk right in here. These guys, these guys don't know anything. 
Somebody found that body, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Do I care about eliminating the security footage? I don't actually think I do. We're already, like, obviously not going to be getting Silent Assassin or anything similar to it. So I'm going to switch back into my snorkel instructor disguise, and then we're just going to get Jesus gone. Oh. Alright, snorkel instructor absolutely allowed to be here. I did leave my briefcase. Okay. <laughs> Thought it was important that we get, that we get that back. Okay. Everything's fine and good and normal here. A target lockdown is probably occurring. Yep. Okay. That's not ideal. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, so... Unfortunately, installing the remote mine in his uh, jet ski is going to be a problem, huh? Because we're definitely not allowed over there. But it looks like we have a moment right now... That guy could see me. That guy's looking right at me. Oh, I'm just I'm I'm allowed over here. I'm this I'm the snorkel instructor. Obviously, I'm allowed over here. Uh, excuse me, I left my wrench. This I use this for um, interacting with my oxygen tank, as we all know. Okay, so we've got a good moment here where Steven is elsewhere. He's doing something else. Did I have no? Okay, I thought I saw an interaction square on her, but I think it might just have been the flower that she's wearing in her hair. So this is, this is his thing, right? This is the one that we had the option of installing a remote explosive in. Do I think that guy can see me doing this? No, I don't. I think we're fine. Okay. This is a brilliant plan. This is one of the better plans I've ever had. How are we going to deal with the other dude? I have no idea. I have actual no plan. Mr. Bradley, are these yours? <laughs> He's like, wait a second. Dude, Here. I've been looking everywhere for those. You just made my day. I am going to tear the good sea day, a new one. Thanks, buddy. My pleasure. Yeah, you and me both. <clears throat> and we are absolutely using the snorkel instructor exit. We are keeping this outfit. So we'll just uh, we'll just let him get on and let him let him drive away from the island a little bit and blow him up out there and that way it will definitely look like it was just routine mechanical failure. You know these things explode all the time. They're like SUVs, because that's what SUVs do, right? Oh, that's driftwood. I don't actually want that. I saw I saw a little interaction thing on the ground and I was like, oh frog. Because, you know, a poison. A poison might be good to have. Just one more target to go. Wow. So, that's <laughs> he really took off. Taken care of. Well done. Oh, for some reason that respawned the water scooter key at my feet. I like this guy just sort of nonchalantly walking out there. It's like, huh. Yeah, he's dead. Sure, I'll take a kettlebell. We'll just store that inside the wetsuit. Can't see why that wouldn't work. So, okay, we, we didn't actually figure out a thing. I got sidetracked. But, you know, we're, um, we're completing challenges. This is, this is worth stuff. We're gonna get some XP. Obviously, it's best, challenge-wise, if you finish the mission, so... Let's try to do that. Good day. What? Oh, oh crap. Sorry. sorry, that's my bad. Thank hey, you. Oh God, you're I'm glad we don't okay. have a problem. This is a bad situation here. I kind of just like over spaced. Here. I forgot that we weren't allowed to be over there. You need to take care of it. What's going on? What happened? There's someone on the ground. Please step aside. Shit, I'll this is a this. bad, come bad in, moment for people to be noticing this. A possible situation. Let that one guy walk away. Why? Jesus, 
sake, Christ. Why would my initial move not have been to just take... I don't know. Alright, we're going to leave that outfit there for a second. As you can tell, I'm reconsidering one thing a little bit here. I think I do want to delete... I, I do want to turn off the security cameras. Not because I'm too worried about the footage, but because I want them off when we go inside of Tyson's place. This is not ideal. Whatever, I'm just going for it. Alright, nobody saw nothing. That's weird. I had him. So unfortunately, we are now a little bit compromised in a couple of different out outfits, which is potentially awkward. Oh, sure. I'll take that. Uh, now, a person seeing you doing something illegal does not necessarily instantly spread that information everywhere. Like, not all of the guards will be immediately suspicious of us or anything. But, some of them will be. And they do, sometimes they do communicate. So remarkably, most of the bodies here are still... Okay, and the only person who saw us do anything illegal as the snorkel instructor is still unconscious. So we're actually in, we're in pretty good shape on this one. Except I, have to, I do have to get out of here. Oh god. This is all good. This is all fine. I was just trying to sneak away. Whatever. It's fine. We'll go this way. We'll just get out of here. It's fine. Okay. So now we gotta deal with Tyson somehow. What is the best way... The best way to do that is to go exactly the opposite of the way that I'm currently going. Yeah, they're going to find all those bodies, and there's going to be a lot of information about what I've done <laughs> floating around out there. And we're just going to avoid all of it. We're going to disappear into the villa. Try to keep an eye out for opportunities to grab frogs here. The, pro the problem with the lethal poisonous frogs that are just hopping around is that I really don't... I don't know where to expect them to be, and if you don't interact with them quite quickly... Uh, they just, you know, they hop off and they disappear. Alright, so we know one way inside the compound. I'm kind of curious what happens if we go around this side, though. Is there another break over here? Well, there's a door. Fortunately, someone was thoughtful enough to turn off the cameras. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna finish looking around outside here. Because remember, part of what we're doing here is, uh, is gathering information. Wait, did I see, uh, it did. It was a coconut. Not that exciting, though. Alright, so this is a hostile area. We gotta be careful here. But... Really? I can't hop up on that? Huh. If we could grab an outfit from one of these uh, these red shirt guards, I think that would make our lives a lot easier, and we could just come back for our snorkel outfit after we're done, since apparently we need it to use the exit. Is there? Okay, there is a place to hide immediately. So we could go get it, since we know where, where it is, and maybe bring it to Tyson himself? 
and tell him that we have something important to tell him about the key, and then, you know, get him to a secluded place and do the thing. Did I bring those? Oh, it was it was the smuggled item, right? That we didn't actually grab, because a, a lot of stuff was happening. But okay, yeah. I did bring those keycard hacking things. Well, we already have an entrance down there. We know how to do that if we want to. Let's have a look around the back side of the villa. There is still a lot to be learned here, I'm sure. Huh, a newspaper. Okay. Household staff, that's a little inconvenient. Yeah, all right. At the risk of uh, the risk of maybe being boring and doing the thing we already did, I think we are going to go around to the side the plane is on and take out that one guard who's all by himself. Just because it's a really easy way to get the um, oh, this is it. This is not ideal, but it's a really easy way to get an outfit. I am decreasingly sure that we could just make that sprint. Huh. Okay, there's a scaffolding with a ladder over there. This is tricky. The, the amount of space between the bushes at the front gate and the fact that the guards at the front gate are looking kind of sideways might actually make it pretty hard to do this the way I want to do it. How about this? What if we... We just do one of these. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. What was that? Hello. Okay. Well, they saw that. That's not that's not ideal. I'm pretty surprised by that. Just stay low, stay sneaky. As long as we don't get close enough to them for any of them to breach our circle of invisibility, we'll be just fine. This game's basically the same as Noita. You can't tell me they're any different. So what I would really love is for one of them, like the last one as they're walking away, to sort of walk into these bushes over here. And then we could leave our extremely compromised snorkel instructor disguise out here. Come back and switch to it after we finish the job. Get out here now. I won't hurt you. Okay, there's a guy right on the other side of the wall who sounds like he knows where we are, but he's bluffing. It's a good bluff, though. I panicked. Okay, here we go. Opportunity is coming. So we need to make a noise, sort of a kettlebell type type noise. Yeah, when there's just one or two of them left. Okay, the other guy just went back inside. I'm glad that nobody puts two and two together. It's like, oh, it's the guy who's carrying the briefcase. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, my kettlebell. Obviously, that's important. Alright, so who is suspicious of me? Nobody. We got a good one. It's probably not contagious. We don't know what it is, but, but I can tell you what it ain't. 
Okay, interesting. Could you please not lock the door behind you? You saw that I was going in there. What's your deal? Oh, there's some oh, there's some kind of opportunity here. Rubber ducks are always bad news. Um, well. I mean, if we just wait for this guy to walk back inside, yeah, we're, I mean, obviously we're doing this. These guys are, are wearing the, the lab suits from downstairs. So did he get one of the, like, one of the high-tech computer technician people from downstairs to come up here and fix his hot tub? Oh, wait, he's about to come in. Uh, okay, don't panic. Everybody just play it really cool. I'm just doing bathtub security, you know. Just... Maybe some more light therapy is needed. Because obviously, I would Good love today, to sir. interfere with his uh, with his yeah, autopsy. Set up shop somewhere else. All this tropical climate is killing me. My migraines are just getting worse and worse here. Okay, no, the lady, the lady who knows who, that we are not on the security team is fully outside. She's, there's no window behind us for her to see us through. I'm going for it. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, we're not going to be able to take her outfit though, right? Because even though that's definitely a unisex sort of garb. Yeah, shit. Well, I'm, I'm trying to pick up a screwdriver so that I can repair it. I got this. I mean, clearly, there was no problem at all here, right? She very obviously did not want to fix this. She was she was just wasting time. Okay, well now this is working. Maybe he'll come in here and use it? You know, for therapy. Let's have a look around in here. Oh, as soon as we fixed that, like, he knew. Go outside. Wait for me on the balcony. I'm gonna soak in this for a while. Make sure nobody disturbs me. You hear? Yes, sir. Well, this seems relatively straightforward. What's he doing? He's trying to close the door, but he can't because he's in the way. And now I'm not allowed to be here anymore. I mean, we're going to let him get in the tub, and then we're going to drown him in the tub, right? Like, that's... Shoot. You're trespassing. Hey, what are you, some kind of thief? You can't be here. Okay, we need to man up! I spotted this asshole who was trespassing. I'm trying to let them escort me out, but it's hey, behaving very that? strangely. Kinda seems like they're not actually upset. They're just confused more than anything. Are we... Are you gonna escort me out, or... What's going on here? We're all... We're all behaving in a very panicked fashion. Nope. Okay, let's go back to normal. Not at all sure what happened there. God, I needed that. Okay. Mister! We're currently trespassing in a restricted area. The, I'm you the out of here. trespassing Follow rules me. around here changing arbitrarily depending on Tyson's state clearly are not actually working. This, there's supposed to be a thing That's happening, it. but I don't know what now. it is. Don't come this way again. Okay, but he escorted me to an area that is considered a trespassing area <laughs> when Tyson's in the bat, right? Like, is it that if I'm close to this wall? Okay. Okay, it's not the whole room. It's the two inches right there next to the door. That's real weird. I mean, let's just do the like the really obvious thing, which of course will be perfectly silent. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. And then the really weird thing is, as soon as he was dead, it was no longer trespassing, right? Why would that be the case? How does everyone in the house know that Tyson's dead so they know not to yell at me about trespassing? 
Very strange. I think this whole part of the this whole part of the map doesn't quite work. All right, let's snorkel our way out of here. So I'm compromised. I am uh, I am a well-known threat to some people on some parts of the island, and we're just gonna not interact with those parts of the island. Is the hope. I mean, it shouldn't come as a big surprise, right? We'll we'll get we'll get white circles over the heads of anyone who would be an issue. Wait, that's this this one. It's got to be this one, right? And all of the individual people who know that the snorkel instructor was up to some weird stuff are like in the massage parlor area, and it shouldn't be a big deal for us to just cross here. Yeah, no, we're good. There's, there, <laughs> there's a significant number of people in the resort who think that the snorkel instructor just went nuts and knocked a bunch of people out and then disappeared into the night. Uh, but aside from that, we are totally fine. Did it... A little circle filled up. You all saw it. There we go. I feel like I could have done that without the wetsuit on, though. I mean, really, if we want to get right down to it. Okay, well, that's going to be some challenges. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we got a couple of little ones. We did not really come up with any ideas for making people more snipeable. But we did learn a lot of interesting things that you can do on this mission. Unfortunately, probably most of which you cannot do while, um, while in your suit. So probably not a lot of stuff that's actually relevant to accomplishing the classics. That said, you know, we made it most of the way there. Uh, sorry, not this. We are, yeah, we're now mastery level 8 with a portion of that done already. We only need probably about 10,000 more XP to get the to get the job done. So, so we'll get it. So that's all we have time for today, obviously. Um, I have no idea why, okay, I have no idea why that's behaving like that. Uh, but when you come back next time tomorrow, we're going to get it. We're going to get that emetic thing that I don't even remember 100%. Oh, the gun, right. We're going to get our puke ray. And then back into the rest of the Hitman 3 missions to find some fun ways to put it to use. And we'll see you then.